I think that if we are attuned to children's emotions, we won't be stifling their personality. I think stifling personalities happens when we deny the right of the child to have a range of emotions. Like if the mother whose son said to him, to her, I am happy and sad and angry and bitey and clingy, if the mother would have said, no, you are not, you are happy. That would be stifling. But to kind of open oneself to the range of feelings that children have, to give them a frame, that's not stifling. And forgive me for saying this, but I think it's not so terrible to project our own desires onto our children's lives. Because our own desires are very human desires. Their desires for health, for goodness, for achievement, for belonging. And so the question is, do we become so specific in the desires that we have for our children that we don't look at the desires that the child has for him or herself? And the older children are, the more secure attachments become a partnership that is based on talking about contradictory agendas or mutually exclusive agendas. When the child is one year old, the parent responds to the child's signals unconditionally most of the time. But when the child is 12 years old, or seven years old, and wants to do something that we know is not good for the child, then we need to engage in a dialogue about how come they want to do it, why it is that we don't want them to do it, and have conversations that do not shy away from conflict, and where we have enough flexibility to think, okay, I can give in in this. Because it's, it's understandable that he or she would want to do it and it's not so terrible, but on this I can't give in. And so I think it's really, uh, all of a sudden my Hebrew comes back or my Spanish comes back, it's a, it's, um, a dance of compromising between the child's desire and the parent's desire. And I think encouragement really is responding with joy to the child's interests, to the child's strengths, and supportively to the child's vulnerabilities. So that's essentially how I would answer uh, this very, very, very uh, universal question. <clears throat> 